for our next one, I want to ask you a personal question. Uh, people may not realize this, but there's actually a number of things that we have in common. Uh, one of them is that family is very important to, to me and, and to both of us. And in fact, you know, both my parents are actually here today. Uh, so uh, welcome, guys. Um, they, they'd rather come watch you than, um, than that is, that is your they're, they're right here. They're, they're right oh. here. Um, now, I understand that, that your mother is very important in your life. So I'm hoping that you'll tell us a bit about her. I would really like to congratulate uh, the parents Mark of Mark for actually um, giving birth to Mark and, and actually giving birth to someone who has managed to link the world. Congratulations. I, I request, will you please stand up? Would like to see you. Uh, could you please stand up? We'd like to see you. I think uh, this is probably the first occasion that Mark's actually invited you to. I think if you look at anyone's lives, if you look at their autobiographies, generally you find two things are always there. One would be the, what was the role of my teacher in my life? And what was the role of my mother in my life? I mean, that's true of everybody. I, I come from a very humble family. My parents played a very big role in my life. I came from a very poor family. Um, you probably know that I used to sell tea at the railway station. Nobody uh, could have, I think no one can imagine that. It's hard to imagine that a tea seller has actually become the leader of the world's biggest democracy. And I'd like to salute the millions, billions of citizens of India who made a commoner like me, one of them. Of course, the, there's also the question of when you come from a humble background, how do you manage? My father, of course, is no longer with us. My mother is still there. She's over 90 years old now. She does everything herself, even now. She does all her work herself. She's not educated. But through television, she knows what's happening around the world through the news. And when we were small, what we used to do to get by was that we used to go to houses, our neighbors' houses nearby. We used to clean the dishes, fill water. Do hard chores. Aap kalpana kar sakte hai ki ek maa ne. So you can imagine what a mother had to do. Apne bachon ko bada karne ke liye. What a mother had to do to raise her children. What she must have gone through. And that's not just the case with Narendra Modi. In India, there, there are hundreds and thousands of women like that. 
hundreds and thousands of mothers like that. जिन्होंने अपने बच्चों के सपनों के लिए अपना पूरा जीवन आहुत कर दिया. Sacrifice their entire lives for their children. और इसलिए मैं सभी माताओं को and that is why शत शत बंधन करता हूँ और उनकी प्रेरणा thank mothers everywhere उनके आशीर्वाद न हमें शक्ति दे पर their blessings will give us strength to remain on the right path. That is the mother's biggest strength. A mother will never want that you become something, but she will want, she will be more focused on how you become something, how you are, become anything. It's not what you become that a mother is going to want or wish for. It's, it's how you become that. And I think that is why this is of the biggest contribution in anyone's life, what the role the mother plays. Thank you, Mark.